Hello YouTubers. My name is Chuck. It's my first video. Uh, welcome to my backyard. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Tried this once before and ended up with a 30 minute video so I'm going to try to keep this brief. Uh, I live in Garden Zone 7. Um, which well, I actually, I live in Collierville, Tennessee, which is a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, this right here, um, just get right into it, is a version, my version of the Topsy Turvy. Got it from uh, a couple folks on here. I have seven Rutger tomato plants in there, and they are doing quite well. I've had to replace several of them. Just to give you all a little hint, I used a hole saw to drill the holes. And um, as you can see, there's still some plastic on there, some little pieces. Uh, so that's sharp. And what has happened is the weight of these tomato plants, um, as they grow, will lean down on those sharp edges and the wind will rock them back and forth uh, like so. And uh, they'll saw themselves off. So what I'm going to do next year is sleeve the tiny tomato plant. These are some that I've replaced. Sleeve the tom tiny tomato plant with maybe a piece of PVC around it so that that doesn't happen. And make sure I get them up in there farther uh, towards the top when I plant them also. So it gives, as they grow and get heavy, they'll uh, have some space to get thicker before they get down around the, um, the hole that I've cut. But they're doing quite well. I got a great big one off of this one yesterday. Um, they're already starting to turn red really quickly going through the uh, list here these are red chili peppers banana peppers those are tabascos right inside there you see the little guy sticking straight up jalapenos got a bunch of them getting ready for salsa those are green bell these are red bell cayenne Lots and lots of cayenne, some big old rascals in there too. Um, this is a bell pepper. Uh, this is another story in itself. I planted him in um, October. He lived in my closet and uh, actually started producing in there. That's zucchini. More zucchini. I picked a big guy off of here yesterday. Uh, this is straight neck yellow squash more there's one about ready um, this is all in containers more straight straight neck yellow I like yellow squash uh, it's all in containers and all soilless uh, it's organic material in each one of these pots no soil I have compost manure peat let's see uh, that's okra it's producing we're getting okra all in containers uh, this is cherry tomato, another cherry tomato. They're blooming like crazy. Um, green beans. I've gone back and planted some more of those. These are about done. I have to go back and finish these. I have kohlrabi right here. This is cabbage, cabbage, uh, kohlrabi, more kohlrabi. This is a spaghetti squash. My wife bought this, I bought a squash at the store, and I had eggplant in there. I believe that spaghetti squash, though. Had eggplant in there, and it never came up, so I stuck some old spaghetti squash seeds in there, and lo and behold, it came up. Uh, these, on the trellis that I made, this little structure here, this is what's supposed to be all cantaloupe, but as you can see, one of them, at least one of them is not a cantaloupe. But we do have cantaloupe. Nice one there, and this one over here is doing quite well. See that guy down in there? He's pretty good size. I mean, almost big as a hand. We have um, cucumbers here, pickling cucumbers. My dog, sorry. She likes to uh, greet the neighbors. I have crimson sweet watermelon growing up a vine. I got to build a I might have to build a, um, a shelf across here to support the weight of these, I think. Um, that was my idea going into that project anyway. 
Um, have more uh, cabbage, some marigolds. These are starters for over there and here for some more green beans. More kohlrabi, cabbage, onions. And here's some more of the starter green beans. They're already coming up. I have some more green beans over there. These are all potatoes in the big buckets back here. We got a few of those out. Dumped two buckets the other day and got about 20 tomatoes out, or potatoes out of it. Potatoes. There's some more. Red and white. And these are all uh, tomato plants. I have these two here, these particular ones. The taller ones are from the same October project I had in my um, closet upstairs. No light. All artificial light, artificial soil, and compost tea. That's what I fed them. And they are doing quite well. I've been getting tomatoes off, red tomatoes off of them for quite some time. Then I have brandywine tomatoes. Uh, and the, these are Rutgers, I'm sorry, beefsteak variety. My bad. Beef master variety and the uh, Rutgers variety down at this end. And the Rutgers seem to be doing better. I mean, there's bunches and bunches of tomatoes on on these plants here I mean it's pretty much just loaded I've got some huge ones in here too uh, big old tomatoes uh, they're doing quite well but uh, that's what I have here that's this is my compost pile it's actually got a bunch of horse manure in it and uh, grass clippings and some other things uh, but my other compost is here this is what I used to feed my plants. My wife and my son went to Costco, told me about this thing, she sent me a picture of it. I had them buy it. It's the best thing I've done for the garden. 14 days. That's all it takes. Put it in here, tumble it a couple of times. You got viable growing media. Uh, this is my junk pile. It's what I used to uh, do all my work with. Some of this stuff is for the front yard. Like I said, everything is organic back here. I don't spray any chemicals on the grass. I don't use any chemicals in for insects. Uh, these are, excuse me for a while I do this, compost tea. Brew that with uh, just aerator pump, pantyhose to make the tea bag with the compost, water, and molasses. Anyway, that's my watchdog. Actually, she's she doesn't do much for watching, but this guy up here does. I was having problems with my tomatoes being devoured. You see him? A little owl. He does well. But anyway, thank you, YouTubers. I hope I didn't bore you to death. I just wanted to put something out there for um, you know you people out there that may be wanting to try some of the, something like this out in your uh, your area works well we haven't had any problems except for a few birds uh, but thank you for those who are out there before me and and threw themselves out there for you know so that we might learn something y'all have a good time good day play in the dirt talk to you next time bye